The death of the ruler, Hideyoshi Toyotomi, replaced the brief spell of peace on the land with the dark clouds of chaos. And Ieyasu Tokugawa, who had survived the chaos through patience, finally found his chance to take control of the nation. Taking on the role of guardian of Hideyoshi's son Hideyori, Ieyasu boldly proceeded to secure his position as the next ruler. What about Uesugi? Have they not come to the capital yet? With some, Ieyasu formed alliances through arranged marriages. With others, he used his military strength to intimidate. He even put pressure on Kagekatsu Uesugi, one of the five elders in the Toyotomi regime. He sought to make him submit, using as a pretense rumors of rebellion. A letter has arrived from Kanetsugu Nawe. Rumors concerning us have apparently reached your ears, but I assure you, they are nothing but unwarranted accusations. By the honor of the legacy left us by Lord Kenshin, we warriors of Uesugi cannot march to the capital to apologize for the babbling of fools. Unlike your lordship, we have no intention of trampling on the Toyotomi and seeking the world. However, I suppose it is inevitable that you will not believe us. And so it seems clear there is no longer any need for words between us. No longer any need for words. Kanetsugu Naoe, what a man. It has been long since I felt so alive. Masanobu, prepare to march. The time for the Ieyasu clan to take the nation is now! Kanetsugu Naoe's letter would be remembered for generations. From it, Ieyasu gained justification for marching on Aizu. The world was moving exactly as Ieyasu had planned.